Hello friends. Just make a quick making a quick video on using this control. Let's see what the number is. I can never remember. Uh, C1121 11291 VRC C11 11291 VRC uh, along with a Singar setup. Um, this is for sale along with a bunch of other Singar related stuff that I, I no longer need. And I'm going to show how it works with two radios. Um, so what is not for sale is unfortunately is this cable because I'm going to be using it uh, with another control head. But the cable goes around and I don't know if you can see it, it plugs in behind the uh, behind this this unit here behind the VAA the vehicular adapter amplifier. All right, so what's important to know about all of this is once it's all connected up, uh, and by the way, it goes into this lower right side port here, is the radios themselves have to be in remote mode. Let's see if I can get a close up of that. I don't know if you can see it. it's REM, remote. And in this case, also pointing to REM, remote. Uh, without that, uh, it just won't function properly. Uh, not very much to show other than, um, I don't know if I can just show all this. I was trying to move. Let me see if I can move this control, make it a little easier. All right, I'll try it. I'll try it mounted here. Okay, so the first thing you can do is you can change the radio. So radio 1 is A, radio A, which is the lower one, and radio 2 is in the upper bay here. Uh, so I'll just keep it on radio one, which is where it is now. And first, let's let's uh, I'll tell you what I'll do. This maybe it makes it easier to see. Uh, you can go, you can do a uh, self test, and this self test good GD if you see the channel and, and variable GD good. Uh, this self test only runs from the re uh, remote control, the control monitor. I guess is the right term for it. It does not actually run on the radio. You can see the radio's not doing anything exciting. Neither neither is this one. Okay, so let's do a few things. Let's um, the first thing we can do is, is change our channel. Hopefully, you can see all this at the same time. If you see the bottom radio again, radio A, radio one, is in 50 megahertz, and I'm going to I'm I'm on channel here. If you can see point pointed up to channel, and then this is how you change your variables up and down. So I'm going to, you can see 50 megahertz. I'm going to change now to channel one and 51 megahertz. Let's see if I can do this together. Channel two, 52 megahertz. Channel three, 53 megahertz. That's all I've got programmed. And if I go beyond that, it says fill four, and you'll notice that this is blinking, telling you that there's something misconfigured with that. In this case, it's just not filled. Uh, okay, let's go. What happened to the display? Okay, so I went back down to 3, 2, 51, and channel 0, I just programmed as 50 megahertz. Okay, and there are other things you can do. So, for example, you can change the RT mode from single channel to hopping, to hopping with M. I don't remember what that is. And you can change the RF, which is this position, uh, for medium, high, and power amp. And I'll just go through those. You won't see anything on this one, but you'll see on the other one. Um, see, it's now on medium. One more, it'll go to high. And then finally to PA. I guess what I could have done is I could have uh, keyed up and you can see the different output. But I'll, I'll show you the other radio, which, which is easier to see. All right, so now let's switch to radio two. Okay, UD, if you saw that, means update. It's got to connect to the radio and get the updated s details, meaning what all these are set to currently. Uh, okay, so what you'll see here is um, I'm in plain text as opposed to cipher text. Uh, channel zero. Let's let's go back to uh, let's go to the RF and we'll we'll play with this. Here you can see it actually occurs. It says LO. I hope you can see that. LO means low. Let's see if I can do this at the same time without glare. All right. Now, whoops, I'm in the wrong. Sorry. Let's go back to RF. That's what I want. Low. And you'll see that's that there is low. And we're going to go up to medium. Okay. I hope you saw that. 
This is now under M, and this is little m in the top corner. And then we'll go to high, and then if you can see, and then PA. This does not have a PA connected to the top unit, but it lets me go into that for some reason. Okay, now let's change the channel. Now on this radio, I've not set any presets at all. So they're all going to give an error saying they, they need to be filled, but that's okay. Channel zero, which is kind of the scratch pad. Channel one, if it says fill one, and you'll see this is blinking. Fill two, fill three, and so on. I can go back down to one. So that radio just hasn't gotten anything set up in it, and uh, that's why it's blinking, but it does work. Uh, and so, yeah, that, that's basically it. That's the using this C11291 slash VRC control monitor for the Singar setup. Hope you enjoyed it.